look, it's Pizza Clock. Ah! Hey guys, welcome to Table Talk. <laughs> <laughs> this show's still going on, huh? <laughs> After all these years. You guys still do this one, huh? Uh, I can't even remember the last time I was on this show. Do Seriously. you remember how it works? Do you guys remember what you're supposed yeah, to do? Yeah, I mean, look, I was part of the inception it. of this damn show. Guess what? What you do on the show is you, people send in questions and they hashtag them table talk. And then, Steve, I don't know if you know this, but you get to pick one and then you read it and then we discuss it and then you launch it. Sounds pretty Bet much Bet you the never same. done this before. I've never done this before. <laughs> Did you know that when... Uh, this is a bit of trivia you guys might not know, but actually Matthew Bowman came up with this show. Hmm. Yeah, that's a true fact. I did know that because he was on a table talk and with did he me talk and about Maud, it? and we talked about it. Did he tell no. you what the original idea for it was? What? The bowl was supposed to be full of... Food? Ridiculous questions. Oh. That, <laughs> food? That, is like, food? we would plant in there, and then eventually the audience would catch on and then send us ridiculous questions. But it was supposed to be stuff like... What like what did you collect when you were a kid and like you is know. that ridiculous? Well, is that like, the most ridiculous question you oh, can think of. Oh, definitely not the most ridiculous one. It was stuff like it, I mean I don't know I don't I don't have the best examples of it, but it was supposed to be stuff like what's the best '80s movie and stuff like that. Like it was supposed to just be like you know you have one little mustache hair that's going up. It's a I know skew. it's a ma it's a nightmare. It's a rebel. I know it's I, a rebel I just mustache. I can't control it. It's a wild beast. Do you see that one, Brie? Yeah. <laughs> it's just one that's going straight up. Can we zoom in? Can we zoom in right here? Can I pluck that? Yeah, go ahead. No, don't. Is that going to hurt really bad? Oh, probably. it's that one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get it. You didn't get it? It hurt as if you did. It's even straight oh my right God. now. <laughs> it hurt like you did get it. <laughs> you were, it was preemptive. Like you screamed before she even. No, it anything. hurt. It absolutely hurt. Can we get a replay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like my eye is watering now. This eye is watering. It's too close to your nose to. Just like Icarus. <coughs> Too close, Icarus, he flew close too, to nose. He flew close to nose, Missouri. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the show where, yeah, Whitney explained it already. Let's just fucking get in there. Can I get the first one in here? Oh, you man. grabbed like seven. <laughs> well, I like to shuffle her around. I like to get my hands on all of them and, okay, feel, and feel the chi. Uh, Chris GC87 asks, if you could switch lives with another person in the SourceFed office for a day, who would it be? Joe hmm. Beretta. Well, Joe Beretta's not in the source fed office. Shh. Oh, I see. Shh. Oh, yeah. Good answer, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed I mean, I'm it. I'm going to change it. I think I'd like to be uh, Will Haynes. Yeah. Just to see what uh, confidence is like. <laughs> Immeasurable, <laughs> obnoxious confidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What about you? Whoa. Whoa, not even you're rusty, friend. Yeah, well it's been a while. What about you? Who but you I think I still hold the record for hitting the lens, right? Mm, I did two last time. I think um Yeah. Oh I mean, shit, you have so many. I've hit it seven times. Are you Damn. serious? Yeah. Damn. I was proud of my two. I mean, but you're a noob. I've been Whoa. here since 1973. Okay, Steve. That's when they invented the word noob. Did you know? That's when. You, that's when people were using that word. You don't consider yourself a noob here? No, I've been. You're here like for part like of the new crew, though. One, two, three. Like you're, you're the new, you're the, the new months. class no, of Saved by the Bell. But Whitney. if you think about it, she's been here as long as I have. Technically, because she true. was guest hosting. That's I true, started. but I mean, like, I'm talking about like official. What hosts. are you trying to say, Steve? Yeah. I'm what are you saying? That I'm old <laughs> and I've had plenty of time to hit the lens. You use the word noob, so I think that shows. How, what about you guys? What, who would you want to swap? Is it swap lives or swap bods? I don't know. I wish we had I guess it's lives. in front of us, but it's gone now. <laughs> I want to swa uh, swipe, swipe. Swipe right. I want to swipe left <laughs> on, uh, no, I want to swap lives with the cardboard cutout of Sam. Oh, that's a good, wait, which one? The new one or the old one? The new one. That's a good one. Yeah. I want to swap just for a day. with Sophia just so I can know what it's like to be fabulous. <laughs> That's a nice thing to life. say. She is pretty fabulous. You guys Let's just should, think about you it. You guys for should a want to swap swap lives with me so you could experience what a kiss from Jesse is like. Oh, I know what a kiss <laughs> from Jesse's like. We've kissed. You do. You have kissed. <laughs> it's pretty great. I get right. it. I mean, I get it. He's a sweet boy. I get why you're with him. I'm scared. 
I don't he's, like he uses he's a lot of teeth. Boyfriend. This is a for human people's <laughs> pen. <laughs> Did you know this? Tiny <laughs> doctor says, when was the last time you peed yourself? Even <laughs> even a few drops count, winky face. I like Tiny last Doctor. Night. Tiny Doctor is tiny a good doctor name. Is a good name. user name. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like I, I remember if it's just a few drops, but I feel like, I don't know, all the time. I do it all the time. Yeah, I make tiny drops in my pants all the it's time. It's so freaking annoying. You feel like you wiped properly, and then you pull your pants up, and you walk two feet, and you just feel a little dribble. Well, that's a leg. little different. That's Because like, you're wearing sweatpants. Usually you have to, like, well, you have to shake your penis until all the water's gone. I don't shake my penis. Until I do all do kegels, the dirty water though. Gone. Kegels are supposed to help with that. I, I sometimes, oh, I've got a, a story about that that you might like because it has to do with when I shot a uh, Catwoman fan film in high school and I played Catwoman. What was it called? Uh, it was Catwoman versus Electra, actually. My friend Heather was Electra. Was and, that based on um, the Halle Berry and uh, uh, Jennifer Garner, Garner movies? movies? Kind of, only we use the Tim Burton Catwoman costume. Oh, uh, yes. And there was a scene where I had to be like sexy to like an arms dealer. And I was like giving him my smooth talk. And it was my friend Rob, who was the funniest person that I knew at the time. And he made me laugh so hard, I peed in my Catwoman suit oh, and had no. to finish the scene. How much did you pee in there? It, oh, felt, like, it felt like a lot. Like. I couldn't stop. You didn't say like, okay, cut, I pissed myself. No, I was like 14. You're a I was actor. so professional. Come on. Yeah. yeah. That's what good actors do. They just who's keep the, peeing. Um, who's the guy from uh There Will Be Blood and uh the method actor guy from Lincoln? Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, they say that he pees himself while he's acting all the time. Oh that was close. So close. That was close. Yeah, Daniel Day Lewis and Clark. Peeing. Daniel Day Lewis and Clark Wolf. Daniel Day Lewis I love Tully. Clark Wolf. Huh? Daniel Day Lewis Tully from Ghostbusters. Lewis Tully is. The there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a double sided. Let's see which one I like. Oh. Okay, this is from Patrick Stewart. Mm. What is something you want to talk about but never do because you don't want to scare or annoy the other person? Whoa. Mm. That's a very personal question. Yeah. You don't want to scare or annoy the other person. Hmm. I mean, a lot of times you have to be careful when you're like a, a big nerd about things to not scare people away who like aren't big nerds mm -hmm. with talking about big nerd things. That's what I was going to say. I feel like less scary or annoying, but more just I bore people sometimes when I talk excessively about comics or like data bending or any shit that I'm super into. Yeah. Because I feel like, you know, as nerds, when you're so into something, you want to give every detail. And I yeah. can see, you know when you can, like, see somebody's eyes glaze over and you yes. notice your eye, you're like, I know you're not paying attention and I'm just going to barrel through this and keep talking until yeah. I'm done. That's what Do I Do you mean. ever wish that you could <laughs> call out that now. moment? That moment when you someone looks away? I did to my dad over winter break. I was I don't remember what I was talking about. I don't know, some like weird bullshit. And I was like, hang on, I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> I, so wait, up. instead of taking that as a moment <laughs> to stop, you were like, no, I, I was must like, keep finish. listening. I'm almost done with this with this story. You Sometimes have to listen. I stop talking mm -hmm. to see if they'll say, oh, what, go on. You like, know what? The, the, mm -hmm. yeah. But my dad is the same. He never pays attention. He asks me 70 questions after I've just said something, and he'll ask what I just said. The I best thing is trying thing. to play a game with your dad, mm. and he's just like not paying attention to the rules or anything. He doesn't listen. And then like, to when, yeah, we were playing like Quiplash or some other game with your dad, and he didn't understand it at all. After we had just explained, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. my dad. That's Quiplash fun. is a pretty easy game to pick up too. <laughs> my dad, yeah. like, I'll tell him stories about my life. Like, we're sitting at dinner, and I'm talking to him. <laughs> We're engaged, making eye contact, and he's just like, I can tell he's just not listening. You're engaged ever. to your dad? I'm engaged to my father. <laughs> oh, engaged shit! Engaged to be wed? Yeah. Uh, I, I hate it when people, like, because, you know, I mean, I, I kind of have, like, a slight form of ADD, and just, like, it's hard to, like, listen okay, to someone when they're talking slight. for too, too long. <laughs> like, I can pay attention to a conversation. I'm engaging in a conversation, but sometimes it's like you just can't help but tune out in some way and the worst thing is is when someone stops after you've tuned out and then they go shit what was i saying 
And I feel like the what was I saying is their way of being like, were you listening to me? Mm-hmm. Where did I leave off? I had and so I many ones. I always find that as a vindictive thing. When I wasn't paying attention to them, my friend, uh, I was like, what What was I saying? And he was like, I don't know. What were you saying? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I always yeah. think it's really funny when people just admit to not listening. Yeah. Because everybody does it. Well, like, more often than not, the, like, shit, what was I saying? Ends in complete silence and then subject changing. Like, people yeah. are like, yeah. anyway, I don't care. Anyway. I don't remember what I was saying, and it doesn't matter. That's true. Everybody yeah. should listen. All I right, agree. Steve, it's your turn. Everyone should listen. Everyone should listen. That should be a children's book. <laughs> Everyone should listen. <laughs> Watch this. I wish I could write it. Oh! That was so close. Jack DiStefano says, if you had to change lives with another SourceFed host, who would it be and why? No. Did we just do that? I changed lives with Cardboard Cutout Sam. We did it already. I think Sophia, just so I could know what it's like to be fabulous. (laughs) I see that the screening process for these questions hasn't changed. (laughs) At least you got another shot. Oh, you You want it? Yeah, just go. No, you do. No. All right. Go for it. If you could switch one life with your source of a host. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. Blah. I would change lives with the person that screens the table talk questions. So you could do it better. So I could do it better. What's one thing you've lost and has, have always wondered where it could have gone? Oh, man, so many Josh things. Blah. So many things. Oh, I know. What? I went to this Machinima Film Festival a couple years ago, I and there the was story. this t-shirt. Oh, at IMA bit? Yes. There was this t-shirt that was the softest t-shirt ever it had this great like geometric design oh the one that they were giving out yes the i one have gi- i have two i'll give one to you stop it yeah this is crazy all you had to do was tell the story to whitney and then you got one i told it to jeremy <laughs> this is- jeremy has the poster in his yeah. office and every time i go into his office i get really sad it was my favorite shirt it really? walked out of my apartment one day i don't know where it went well, I you can have mine. What? I never wore it. Yeah, I have kind of bad memories associated with that night, and so I kind of don't like. Well, you gotta want give the her the shirt. Anymore, It'll, so this is this yeah. is the dream come true. Big green was there. Which one? The what? Oh, the kid. Yeah, I know who. The, it is. You know the one who was in punks. Cut to a clip. Their goalie is starting to see things. I'm not feeling so good about this. We should have a music, a film festival, or a music festival. Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> where did that come from, Whitney? I was yeah. thinking about uh, music, but also but we should have... where did the music come from? I don't know. Do you guys like music, by the way? <laughs> do, you guys like, do you like music? Let us know in the comments people, down below if you like music. As far as I do know. music, like Will Haynes does music. Well, I love... Let's do a benefit I'm concert. I'm like a, a music person. <laughs> like, I'm a, like a nerd. I'm a music Hell nerd. Yeah. So... I would love. I tried to do a music show on SourceFed when I first started here, and it did not go over well. But I would love to talk about music anytime. Hell yeah! I've always wanted to do a music show. If you guys have any ideas, let us know. Yeah. I would even love to do like a like a record review, unboxing. Anyway, Steve's unboxing this pen. This pen has <laughs> yeah. too many pieces. Look. It does now. I uh, are you gonna be able listen, to reassemble I just want that? You to see this look unboxing it. video. Guys, look. <laughs> this means something. It came to me in a dream. It's homeland. Um, something I've I've lost a lot of things, and I and I don't know what happened to them. I had like really cool collectible things that I don't know what happened. I had a T-shirt that said "Big Ni- Big Nipples Rule" on it, which I think you, I don't know if I told you guys about that. I, f- I feel like you my like mom. You like big nipples? Well, no, I just found it at a thrift store. Like, wouldn't you buy that? Yes, I it was have. just a black shirt with big white letters, and it said. Big nipples rule. That was it. What an interesting thing to get behind. I know, right? I loved it. And I think, I feel like what happened to it is my mom was like, I don't think so with this shirt. And she probably threw it out or something. Aww. I also had a Wicked Scepter shirt, which which is a fake rock, like a hair rock band from Mr. Show, the Mm -hmm. sketch comedy show. And it literally had a guy being blown in a jacuzzi on the t-shirt. So mom got rid of a couple. Mom definitely yeah. got rid of that she one. She did a closet clean out. I feel like I I can't think of anything specific because I lose shit all the time. Yeah. And I just forget about it. And then I'm like, well, got to get new stuff now. Yeah. Sometimes I wish a lot of the things I own would just go lost so I wouldn't have to deal with it I can anymore. help you with that. Really? I can help lose your stuff. I can help Brie gain a shirt. <laughs> You're going to lose your stuff. Whitney has it. all the <laughs> answers today. Oh, Whitney, you're just like a savior. Can you find my? I had this puppet called a fob, and it was from uh, the Teddy Ruxpin universe, and it was this like little bird that was like a puppet, and you could like make its beak move and stuff. Do you think you could find that for me? I could, but I won't. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I just don't want to. I don't need it. I just want it. <laughs> and there's a difference between needing something and wanting something, That's children. That's true. Shall we do one more? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. All right. This one's from Mug Dog. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sam. Hello, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Ooh, this is good. What's a TV show that you wanted to watch but never got to? Oh, Battlestar question. Galactica. All of them. All the TV shows? Yeah. Every, almost every TV show except for, like, The Simpsons and Rick and Morty and Black Mirror and Twilight Zone are the shows that oh, I have not watched. Have oh, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Those are the only shows I've seen ever. Oh, That's yeah. so funny. I wasn't allowed, growing up, I wasn't allowed to watch South Park or The Simpsons. Oh, yeah, South Park, I guess I've watched, too. Why not The Simpsons, though? I still, I missed, I completely missed the boat with Game of Thrones. Completely. I think they're so Oh, wow, really? That. You, 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 like, were trying to watch Game of I Thrones? I tried, then but you... then it started, I fell so far behind that it started to feel like homework, and then I didn't want to <laughs> do it anymore. I got All right. It. What about you? I'm not going to fault you for that. Battlestar Galactica. Like, I really, really wanted to watch that show. I haven't too watched late. it either. Yeah, it's a little too late, I feel like. We could uh, do a Battlestar Galactica watch club <laughs> and talk about it. Would anybody want to watch that? Let us know in the comments. You guys want to watch us watch Battlestar Galactica? <laughs> <laughs> you can't yes. watch it with us! You just have to watch us watch it. That's the point of that. Great. Is that enough? Should we do one more? We've got, we're 15 Sure, minutes. do it. All I right. can. I will not be able to put this pen back together. Oh, this two, are these? I these are can. all double sided. Oh shit! No snatch point, baby. <laughs> who? If you could switch places with anyone in the source fit <laughs> office, who would it be? Here's a good one. Sage Suptic mm. says, "What's the weirdest thing that's happened at a family get together, like holidays, birthdays?" Hmm. Man, I wish I had a good story for that. I don't. I feel like. Hmm. Yeah, well, nothing ever really weird happens. My family get-togethers are so safe and normal. My, I guess this kind of counts. I feel like I've told the story before, but um, my sisters came to visit, and we went to Disneyland last year for my birthday, and we all got very drunk. And my sister, my oldest sister, got so drunk that she got us kicked us out. She got us kicked out of the park. Oh Whoa. She was like, she got into like full baby mode where she was like not saying words and like couldn't support her weight. She fell into a bush. Oh she my fell God. into a trash can. She then fell into a small family. Do you remember what happened? <laughs> like, what was the the kicker that we got you kicked out? On our way to Splash Mountain, she was just <laughs> falling into stuff. She was falling into stuff, and uh, we were in line for Splash Mountain, and I think she like kind of fell into a family a little bit, and then they, uh, the people at the park were like, "Hey, it's sorry, it's not safe, you gotta go," and. Uh, they were so nice about it, but I was like, hey, is it cool? And I also probably sound very drunk. So I'm probably like, hey, is it cool if we just get her home and get some uh, food in her and get, get her a nap and come back? Why would you want to be that drunk in Disneyland? Uh, well, it's ever actually... Been to Disneyland? It's boring. We didn't plan on getting that drunk, but Lindsay's now husband uh, and his brother are great party instigators and also very, very, very big guys. And so they ordered us a bunch of shots in like 30 minutes that was fine for them but not for us uh, more women uh, so they got us kicked out and then I was like can we can we just like give her a nap and bring her back and one guy was like no I was in the Navy and I know she's not gonna sober up like that has to do with <laughs> anything and then I was like oh really we're gonna come back and he was like oh do you want me to get my manager involved and I was like yeah get him and Jesse had never been to Disneyland before Aww, and he so was he like was probably oh, damn it out. and uh, he got his manager but I totally felt vindicated because the manager was cool as fuck and he was like oh yeah she's fine you just like get some food in her and like <laughs> you know you can come back and um, how long were you there before you got, your sister got super smashed oh uh, that happened at Brothers. like 2 30, 3. Um, and uh, then Lindsay caught on. Wait, what on time her way did back. you get there? Like 9. Okay. We were there for a little while. Um, and That's then, not nearly enough time to go on that many rides. Well, it was real crowded. Here's what happened we only went on like three 
three rides or so. Um, but then Lindsay got started crying because she th caught on that it was her fault that we got kicked out Aww. and then gave herself a black eye because she flung herself into a chair back at the hotel oh, and missed oh, and girl. caught the edge on her face and then woke up the next From morning the with like band? the worst. What? The edge. The guitar player. She from caught YouTube? herself on the edge. <laughs> oh, God, the edge just you. happened to walk by. Why did you remind me that you two and <laughs> yeah. the edge exist? <laughs> you forgot um, about the edge. How could you forget about the edge? Mm -hmm. Anyways, we ended up making it back. Went on three more rides, and it was a great day. But that was probably. Oh, you the went craziest. back. Okay, we great. We went back. Jesse got to go on Space Mountain. Man, that would bum me out so hard if some <laughs> drunk jerk was getting all drunk at Disneyland and getting me in trouble. I would have like left the group and gone to do my own thing, I feel like, at that <sighs> point. Did you really do it, Bree? Whoa! Amazing Are work. you some kind of engineer? No, I'm just really good at stuff like this and like untangling jewelry. Let's take apart I Whitney untangled now and this put her today back and I was so proud of myself. It took it's me so like nice. 45 minutes. It's so minutes. satisfying when you take apart like when you have things tangled and then you get them untangled. That's true. Send us all your tangled stuff. Yeah, Whitney we're going to untangle, untangle yes. all of it. We're going to have a live Twitch show where we untangle jewelry. What's the weirdest <laughs> That's thing? That's ASMR. Um, yeah. I want to know what ha what's the weirdest thing you've experienced at a theme park. Probably that. I mean, getting kicked out. I don't know. What about you? Oh my god, just something really funny. We were at Halloween Horror Nights years ago, and I was with my friend Quadir, and the way he reacts to things popping out is he screams like <laughs> an ungodly scream, and he falls on the floor, oh. like, on the ground. Like how many times did that happen? Multiple times. Like we couldn't get through one haunted house because he kept he'd scream and just fall flat on the ground and oh. not move. <laughs> like, That's cute. Like he's like out a frightened of, out of bunny. Pure he fear. He was legitimately scared. Wow. <gasps> That's so not a very good defense mechanism. Not it's just at all. falling down. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he like was playing dead to I mean, dead, yeah. He was playing dead to a group of actors. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like they're bears. <laughs> yeah. My sister one time she got someone popped out and she spit on them. Oh no! I feel so bad for those actors. They think they're gonna have a good time, then they get like punched in the face. I mean, but also <laughs> think about how like night after night they just have to like they're just in there scaring people all day. Like by the time you get there, which is probably like weeks after it opened, they're like all sick of their jobs at mm -hmm. that point, I feel like. Yeah, it doesn't sound like that much fun, to be honest. I'd yeah. like to talk to somebody who's done it and see. I would like to be a ride operator on a classic Disney ride though, like something like the Matterhorn, so you can go into like that secret like basketball court. And you get a cool co a costume. Yeah, like, Indiana yeah. Jones, they've got Man, cool those costumes. costumes that yeah. they wear at Disneyland, yeah. those are like coveted, highly yeah. coveted items. I love the Lederhosen on the Matterhorn. Yeah, yeah. One. The Haunted Mansion outfit's pretty good too. I'd like to operate a carnival ride. I'd like to operate Tower of Terror. <laughs> yeah, well. Why are you gonna, why are you trying to bum Steve and I Although out? Although the Tower of Terror costumes were pretty rad too. They were super like cool bellhop outfits. I didn't get to I didn't get to take Jesse before it became fucking Guardian. Yeah, it was like Galaxy. January second when it finally when it closed so down. Can you yeah. buy those like pieces of it? Well, I heard that they were gonna do some kind of auction for a lot of stuff in there, but I don't know who gets invited to those and I feel like most of the time, like, it just goes to cast members and family and stuff like that. Doesn't it go in, like, a Disney vault? I don't know. You know, I've heard about this Disney vault, but I've never seen anything about it, and no one really talks about it. I've never seen a vault in my life. I've never seen a vault <laughs> in my life. My favorite. <laughs> it's not your vault. It's not your vault. <gasps> it's Vault Disney's fault. No! Vault Disney's fault! Oh, shit. Vault Disney! Has that why been used? They, why didn't they just call it that instead of the Disney vault? Oh, shit, son! Don't they You're have a series up. of young adult books where it's like kids are like run amok in the Disney parks and magical shit happens? I don't know. I know in Goosebumps they had like a scary thing. Oh, yeah. Welcome okay. to... Hell. Welcome to, <laughs> welcome hell. to hell. Monster blood. I don't know. Whatever. I don't remember all the names of that fucking shit. We should do reads of Goosebumper. Goosebumpers. 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 We are the biggest Goosebumps fans. We call ourselves Goosebumpers. Goosebumpers. <laughs> Dramatic readings. I want to talk to or that right girl around. who's part of that meme that like burgers, burgers, burgers. She's probably like fifty-seven now. Yeah. I want to talk to the girl who's in that like pizza meme. 
one triggered. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. I'm just being a dick. Bree. It's so now funny. you gotta think of something dumb she's done that you could like. I can't think of one thing. <laughs> Everything. You guys gotta go to that. Have you been to Masa, by the way? No, no I've heard yet. tale of how you amazing it go. is. Though. It's really good. We can go. We have to get a group with four people. Rob Fee was trying to get a group going. There Has go. he been? Name I drop. Don't know. Rob Fee. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I have this really cool friend. Yeah. He's, famous. he's my friend. He's famous. He has a lot of great Twitter tweet roundups. Oh, yeah, he certainly does. We love Rob Fee. Why don't we get him on this show? Some, yeah. Some he'd be point. great. He I think be. he'd be great, too. All right, Anyways. well, fuck it. I think this show has run its course, you guys. You know what we could ask him? What? If you could switch lives with any sorcerer host, living or dead. He'd be like, uh, uh, what dead. source fed? Like, what source fed? That's what he'd say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. You well, have to know him. <laughs> yeah, you would have to know him. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us on Table Talk. <laughs> What a momentous occasion for two people that hadn't been on in such a long time and one person who's on a lot. Guys, thank you for watching and we hope that you send us more questions. How do they send questions? Just uh, via send shit? Via Reddit Just... or Twitter, hashtag table talk or yeah. at the source fed All right, Reddit. so it hasn't changed at mm -hmm. all. So yeah, just keep sending those questions and I swear to God if we find one where you ask us whose lives we'd switch in the source fed office, that I will or be Or in very general. Upset. Do you just not like us being ourselves? I like What's my life. What's going on? My life is riot. Just kidding, I'd switch with my dog. Mm. I'd switch with any dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we switch with, yeah, I'd switch with my cat. Dude, she's got it made in a shade. Man, that was All right. the best. Yeah. See you guys later. Bye, guys. Are you gonna burp again soon? You wanna give us a better warning? I will a give you. Warning. I'll give you a burp warning. Please uh, do. And when when I give a burp warning, the following sound and graphic will play. Elliot Morgan commented, "I think this video is great. Thank you, Elliot. And you guys are great. Thank you, Elliot. And you make a great duo. Thank you. You're supposed to say it at the same Ready? time." <laughs>